Welcome back everyone. In this video, I would like to share a wonderful fall recipe with you. And it is back to school time. So enjoy our life blog and the recipe that I will share. But before we begin, I would like to say a quick prayer. Holy Father, you have been teaching me the importance of becoming a blessing. Open my eyes to truth today so I may be a blessing even to those who are rebels and enemies of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, for being our Lord and Savior and giving us your precious Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. You guys, I am on my way to take Daniel to the doctor to get his physical for 12th grade. And we're on our way now. So we'll see y'all at the doctor's. Just relax. And with your other hand, you can put this under your tongue. This the last child that I have. Uh, the, and hey, look, mm -hmm. I never have to do this again. <laughs> You guys, today is Friday. He starts school on Monday. Good morning, young man. You getting ready for school? What are you doing? Putting my stuff in the car. <laughs> Your first day of school, what you want to say? Uh, took a long way to get here. 12th grade. Yeah, 12th grade. Ah, you all sharp. Let me check you out. Oh, yeah. You can, I'm going to check you out. You keep coming. You all sharp. Check you out, boy. First day school pick. Oh, my God. Don't like the shirt. Don't like the shirt. Wow. Hater. All right, I'm going in. Here, repairing our gutters. Storm knocked out some of our gutters. You guys, after Hurricane Debbie, on one side of our house, our gutters had fallen and it was like broke up. So they took the uh, end piece. I wanted to bring y'all out here and let y'all see how it's done. They take a sheet metal and they run it through this machine. And what it does is it's create this U-form to make the gutters. I have never seen this before. And this is all so unique to me. I hope y'all can see over the sunlight. I'm doing a voiceover because my neighbor is playing uh, music while she's warming or sitting in her car. I have no idea, but I don't want to copyright. But look at the uh, flat metal they had in the truck, and they're measuring it, and they're rolling it out. And you guys, this is just amazing how they make gutters. These guys are so professional. I'm going to get uh, the name on the back of his shirt so you guys can um, see if you're in Jacksonville and you need someone to do gutters. These guys do really, really well. But yeah, this is how the gutters are made. Yep. So I'm going to let them get back to their work. Yeah, we have some gutters to replace. Ah. <sighs> It's 
from the side of the house to that down. Getting the gutters replaced, y'all. It's amazing how they do the gutters. Anyway, we're gonna let them get back to work. Look at my beautiful plants. All right, you guys, let's let's go in and let me show y'all how to make this wonderful hamburger butternut squash casserole. You will be surprised by the ingredients I'm going to use. Just letting y'all see my beautiful flowers before we go in and make this casserole. But it's an excellent fall recipe. Try it. Welcome back everyone. Today I have a really exciting fall recipe that I would like to share with you. It is butternut squash and it's a butternut squash hamburger casserole. Very, very tasty, tasty and it has a hearty smell. So here are the ingredients that you will need. You will need a half a cup of chopped bell pepper. This is a green and a yellow. You will also need some onion, a half a cup of onion. You will need two tablespoons of pumpkin spice, and you will also need some ginger. You will need one tablespoon of salt and one hot pepper. If you don't have a hot pepper, you can use uh, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And I'm also using one cup of tomato sauce. You can use tomato sauce or tomato paste. This is my homemade tomato sauce that I make. And you will also need some French style dried onion. This is so good. And you will need uh, half a cup of breadcrumbs. And you will also need the cheese that you like. This is sharp cheddar. And you will need two cups of a good beef stock. And you would need your ground meat, of course, and your butternut squash. So let's get started. We're going to prepare the butternut squash, wash it, and then after you wash it, cut off each of the ends. If you want to stand it up, this would just help, uh, help stand it up and make it easier for cutting. You can use a knife or you can use a potato peeler like I'm using. Uh, either way it goes, just be very, very careful. The older the butternut squash, the tougher the skin. The younger it is, uh, the skin is a little more pliable, easy to come off. But some of this butter part, this butternut squash was hard, like towards the end at the bottom. But uh, I prevailed. I got it all off. You guys, this is a wonderful recipe to try this fall. It is excellent because it has the flavors, the savory meat, and it also have a really really good flavor when you add the pumpkin spices to the butternut squash
My kitchen smells amazing. You guys, pumpkin spice seasoning added to ground beef, it gives it a really fall and homey smell and taste. You guys, don't forget, add your one cup of tomato sauce. This adds like a, a gravy, like a thickener to the, um, the casserole that we're making. And it's really, really tasty because the tomato sauce, it brings it all together. It uh, like makes it really hearty, you know, makes it a hearty meal because you got the base that's a tomato sauce. So you guys, when you pair it with the uh, butternut squash, it's really, really flavorful. And one thing about the butternut squash you don't have to add a whole lot of liquid to it, but I add like either one cup or two cups of the beef stock to the uh, butternut squash because you don't really have to add two cups if you choose not to. You can just add one cup because the butternut squash, it makes, it, it makes its own juices. Oh, you guys, you got to try this recipe. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. I can't wait to eat. You see, look how it all cooked down. We added the cornstarch to the um, beef broth. And what that did is it made like a thicker sauce. And that's what I wanted, you know, to go on the over the casserole, a thicker sauce. So now we're getting ready to construct the casserole. We're going to add the meat sauce over the butternut squash. It smells heavenly. And we're going to layer it like a lasagna. We're going to add cheese. We're going to add some breadcrumbs to it. Also, I'm going to add some French onions to the top of the casserole while it's baking. And then we're going to cover it. And then we're going to bake it. These are the French onions. And I'm adding a little more of the breadcrumb. You know, you want to add your breadcrumbs. You want to add your cheese, your French onion. to just gorgeous flavors. So cover it up. And we're going to put it in 375 degree oven for 60 minutes. This casserole is fork tender. It is not dried out. So, you know, for garnishment extra, you can put whatever you want on it. I'm going to add a little more extra of the crunchy French onion on top. Guys, I hope you like this recipe. Everybody, it is Daniel's first day at school. He is off. So, y'all, me and honey, we're visiting Moon River Pizza today. Y'all, they have the best pizza you ever tasted right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Moon River Pizza. Yeah. The place is retro. Let get inside. Oh, 
about Dan is like he Hey, actually, sweetie pie, how do you feel about Daniel last year in school, 12th grade? He's leaving the nest. How do you feel? I feel great about it. That means he's growing up and becoming a young man. And I think that he's happy to go back to school for his last year. So when he's happy, I'm happy. So how was it your uh, 12th grade year? Were you excited to get out or yes, leave? Yes, I, I was excited to get to the 12th grade and, and put that part of school behind me and turning older and becoming a young man. You guys, I am so glad that Daniel's last year, he's in school. We are officially Empty Nesters. We're in the Empty Nesters Club. Empty Nester, hello. Hello. Are you an Empty Nester? Yes, I am. <laughs> show show not, me the I Empty Nester be. face. <laughs> This is the empty Nestor's face. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> we are officially empty Nestor's. <laughs> Woo. You guys, I have the vegetarian vegetable pizza. My honey bunny. He has pepperoni and Italian sausage, and we have a marinara. This is our lunch today, and we'll see y'all soon. You guys, they have an art exhibit showing here today, and that's one of the reasons why we came here today. Look at this beautiful, beautiful art that is on the wall. You guys, each of the exhibits, they have a, a price near them. And the exhibit will be up all this week. And then next week, they will change to new art pieces with new artists. So I want to kind of give y'all an idea of what they also showcasing here at Moon River Pizza. You guys, not only is the pizza good, but the atmosphere is magnificent. You guys, so I put the uh, address and the phone number. If you see some of these art exhibit pieces you like, you know, the uh, employees here at Moon River Pizza, they can, um, can give you some information on the artists and the art pieces. So you guys, once again, I thank y'all for watching and we will see y'all in the next one.